Meet a roofer who tops homes with tiles from the past. A floor builder whose work is nearly too pretty to walk on. And see a woodworker create a window to the arts and crafts period. Watch them all on Modern Masters. As a painter paints from a palette, tile roof expert Vince Hobson builds from his salvage yard of historic tiles. This is the uh, T1 Ludovici French, and uh, the patent date on that is 1894. This particular tile is the, the Denver Hines Spanlock, made locally here in Denver from 1912 to 1939. This one is a Mound City. When Mound City started producing their, their tiles, right around 1902. After about 1925, 1930, you didn't see much of them. This trove of tiles started when the Denver Craftsman was replacing a 1930s vintage roof. He didn't have the heart to throw history away, so he kept the old tiles. Vince had no idea what he was going to do with them until one day, opportunity knocked, literally. One day I got a knock on the back door while I was at home, not working, and a builder had seen my tile stacked up there and he needed it for a project on a, on a historic motel down in Denver. And so we ended up talking about it and I made him a deal for the tile. And uh, then I made him a deal for the installation on it and you know, thought what a neat niche this would be. He's been turning historic tiles into new roofs since 1981. As preservation became a bigger deal, more and more people started saving and restoring what they had. A lot of people came to me for answers and for material. His path to a roofing career began in law school. I needed a job while I was going to law school, and they wouldn't let me in for free. so. And roofing was something that I started doing. He liked it so much, he left law school and opened his own tile roofing business in 1979. Today, Vince is using three brands of clay tiles from the 1920s to turn a barn in Cherry Hills Village, Colorado, into a patchwork of yesteryears. To me, new tile just is generic. It just doesn't have the character that the old stuff does. Vince is laying a staggered pattern of French field tiles. He starts by alternating whole tiles with half tiles. This is an end band. It is a pre-manufactured half tile. Vince and assistant Eric Heron have barely begun, but the morning's first challenge is already upon them. How hot do you think it is? Hot. <laughs> On a 90-degree day, the heat on the roof can easily rise to 180 shocking degrees. A more constant challenge is getting salvage tiles to interlock the way they're supposed to. The red tiles made by the Heinz Roofing Tile Company were never meant to fit side by side with the green tiles made by Ludovici. But Vince likes the effect of the two different tiles together, so he forces the fit. That's one of the... One of the struggles when the tile is just a little bit larger. Because of the angles on the next slope, Vince must first line up a horizontal row on the bottom until he reaches a point where the angles intersect. Then he starts a vertical line toward the ridge of the roof. From that point, I can carry either direction and know that my lines will be OK and the tiles will interlock properly. After that, Vince and Eric start backlaying tiles, tucking them underneath each other until they reach the roof's hip. At that point, Vince needs a few angled tiles to butt up against the slanted hip. So Eric cuts the tiles and uses a shortcut to deliver them. Tossing the tiles is the fastest way to get them to the roof but it sometimes unnerves the homeowners who see it happening. 
a lot of times I'll, I'll be on a job site and we'll be tossing our tiles around and I'll come back to the office and there'll be a message there telling me my workmen are throwing the valuable tiles around. You know, I'm the one doing it. On the rare occasion a tile is broken, Vince replaces it. With the top angles out of the way, Vince and Eric can quickly run tile across the rest of the slope. As the roof system fills in, Vince secures the cut tiles around the hip. For this section, he uses a bed and point system. Bedding means using mortar to lock the tiles in place. Pointing is the process of smoothing the mortar to shed moisture. Back when these roofs were originally put on, everything was installed with mortar. Having drills and saws and stuff wasn't there. And where they couldn't punch a hole, they would just mortar them in place. Those roofs, 70, 80 years later, are still intact. Vince adds generous curves to the hip with 1917 hip tiles from the old Mound City Tile Company. I love the look of it. It's just that old art. In the finished barn, scattered pieces of history that might have otherwise been discarded come together to create a new roof with old-fashioned appeal. Most everybody else you know, looks at roofing as a job. And uh, to me, it's, it's saving what's out there. From rooftop to rooftop, Vince Hobson gives historic beauty a new home and paints pictures of the past against the sky.